Hi everyone, welcome to another Master Pairings with me, Dr. Bill, and today for my guest I have Andy Kopik. He's uh, one of the guys behind the just recently uh, played out Vancouver Beer Week. Today we have actually a fabulous American crafted uh, Belgian golden, um, or Belgian style golden. It's Damnation from Russian River from Vinny Solerzo, and it's one of my favorites and it's a great aperitif. Dup uh, Goldens like Duval, things like that are great for aperitifs. That's what they're historically used it's for. It's actually one of my favorite beers. I think I may still have a bottle of batch 002 sitting at home. Yeah, so. yeah. Those are awesome. Hey, Wonderful let's beer. try them out. See how it is. So nice. As good as it ever was. It has that nice Belgian yeast strain. It's got that little bit of malty breadiness. Uh, but it, it, but it's very light and unassuming, and it's just really enjoyable. Well, it, almost a little bit of a mild spiciness on the. Oh yeah, the there's definitely well, spice. So. Uh, more spice than say a Duval, for mm -hmm, example, mm -hmm. which is the classic golden ale style. To me, this is almost a kind of a cross between a triple and a golden ale. Vinny, you know, doesn't do everything exactly straight on. So today, I didn't go out of my way. I didn't make anything amazing because it's an aperitif. I thought we'd try a couple appetizers. And one thing that this beer goes great with is goat cheese. Nothing. It's fabulous. So I got a, a clocher, which is a classic bell-shaped chev, uh, a little uh, St. Andre's triple cream brie. So uh, basically brie's or goat cheeses or chevs, they mm -hmm. all work really well. Um, some briat savarine, which is amazing. And some boucheron dean, which is, as you can see, is just lovely right now. It's, it's melty all on the outside and it's just fabulous. And then what I did, also what goes really well with these beers are prosciutto, serrano, things like that. They hold up really well with that. Okay. And so I took a little of the uh, St. Andre and I wrapped it in some prosciutto for us to try and see how that goes with the beer. So I'm, imagine I'm not waiting any long. I'm just digging in. The prosciutto melts in your mouth anyways. And then with the brie, it's just pretty decadent. In a word, spectacular. Let's see that how is. it goes with the beer, though. Oh. See, see, in my experience, goat cheese and beer are such a perfect pairing right. because it brings out some of the fruitiness in the beer right. and you really start to pick up some of the, a little bit of the, even the hoppy notes. Yeah, there's a little hop that comes out of this, but it, it's spectacular the way it blends into the finish and they just melt together, very complimentary pairing and they just go really well. Um, another thing I wanted to try was a uh, little of the Boucheron Dean with this. I thought that would go really well. Let's see sure. how that is. Now this is a pretty intense cheese right here, so I'll cut a little section I'll let you. We're just, we're just digging in, so just grab it. Grab it and go. Yeah, we're not. See how ripe that is? And that's much more pungent than the Saint Armand. Very pungent. It's a really strong tart notes. And just covers your whole palate instantaneously. And that's like perfection. Yeah, that blends really well. I knew that's that would really, be really, really nice. Those are really interesting to pair with each other. All four of these would, would present slightly different flavor profiles with the beer. Now, golden ales and triples are in this great pairing category that go along with Hefeweizens and Saisons. Mm -hmm. They can pair with so many things. This, this uh, works great with uh, pot linguine and clam sauce, mm -hmm. uh, garlicky dishes that works really well and it puts out that bitterness, that, that sharpness from the garlic. Um, works great with spicy foods, a lot of Indian foods, Thai, Chinese, spicy Mediterranean dishes. Okay. Works fabulously and it just really blends and works Yeah, because really oftentimes well at home when I'm making a carbonara, or a, a, you know, a pasta with some pancetta and a little oh, yeah. bit, you know, a little white sauce. I'll use a triple or a golden ale as a perfect pairing for that. Right. Yeah, white sauces work really well with this. And of course, when you're talking cheeses like, you know, uh, the different cheeses that you would throw in a carbonara and the egg and everything. I mean, this goes great with a Gruyere omelet, which I paired with a Hebeweizen the other mm. day. This would be fabulous like that. <laughs> Don't so that'd be great. Like that. So, you know what? I wanted to try an experiment, though. I, we have a very, very talented, um, reaching back here, we have a very talented uh, charcuterie uh, chef at Stone Bistro, and he made me some uh, chicken liver pate. Wonderful. And so I thought, let's see how this goes. This has an interesting pairing profile that might go really well with this. So I thought, let's go a little bit outside the box and see how this does. Roasted chicken, this goes great with, and it goes great with other dishes. So, and this is a fabulous, fabulous pate. So, um, 
Let's see how this goes. Just from an aroma standpoint, mm -hmm. this is to die for. <laughs> that might be better than the cheeses. It's amazing. You get this, you, you get this intensity from this that comes mm -hmm. in and it just plays so well and the spices just play these background notes throughout as, you, as it's coming across the palate. Wonderful flavors and yeah, that really complements compliments well. I like it. Oh, very good. Another thing to work with. So, um, this was another master pairings. I think it was successful, Andy. Very successful. Thank you for coming out. Thanks for having me, Bill. Cheers. Cheers. Boom.